Hello, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Welcome to a quick introductory video for my Build a Content Management System course. This is a course that's available to premium members on the KillerSites video tutorial library, and I wanted to provide a brief demonstration of what gets built during that course and give you a little bit of an outline of what we do um, in case you perhaps aren't a, a premium member and are interested in seeing what this course is about. This course spans 40 different videos and covers about 6.5 hours of content. Um, over the course of the course you build a very basic content management system and uh, let me give you a brief demonstration of that now. So this is the very basic website that we build. Um, just a one-page website my goal is not really to focus on that side of things as much as showing you how we can edit the content. So to access the content management system, either you click a login link or you can simply enter in a question mark and login in the URL. And you get this pop-up that appears allowing the user to enter in the username and password. And uh, this particular content management system I've called Flight Path CMS. Um, no specific reason for that, other than when I was little I loved space and spaceships and all that. But uh, you're obviously welcome to change the name if you want to. But uh, if we go ahead and enter in the admin details. The content management system that I'm building is a little bit different than a lot of the ones you'll see elsewhere. Um, the thing that I think sets it apart and it's similar in some ways to some of the more recent content management systems I've seen. Um, for example, Mojo Motor. Um, WordPress is heading in this direction a little bit. Um, but basically what we have is this live edit view. And when you log in, you get these editable areas of the page that indicate the type of the area and provide this hover over functionality that indicates the user can click on them to edit these areas. So if I do that, click on it, you notice it opens up this modal pop-up window and um, there are a couple different content types that we create throughout these videos. We have this one line content type which is a simple input box. We have a simple text area which allows you to enter in code directly in. And we also have a what you see is what you get field which I use a tiny MCE to provide the what you see is what you get functionality. So this makes it very simple. Um, we can go ahead and make small edits. We could, um, just as an example, maybe I want to bold this line. So just hit bold, submit, and it saves it to the database and the page refreshes and you instantly see that change in place. And then also you can click the preview page button and it's going to hide these editable areas and indicate you know what would it look live and then you can click the edit page back again and those come back so my goal with this particular course is not to provide a content management system with a huge array of functions I'm focusing primarily on the absolute basics to start which is creating some sort of authorization object which um, allows us users to log in and log out. I've created a templating object which allows our models and views and controllers to communicate with each other and also the actual CMS functionality itself allowing us to select um, er editable areas, um, update the content within them, create those content blocks, etc. So this course is primarily aimed at intermediate PHP developers um, people who have worked through some of the basic tutorials already and at least have a basic understanding of PHP and how it works. Um, if you're an advanced PHP developer, um, you may find this a little bit below your level, but up to you. You're obviously welcome to watch it. And even if you're a beginner who's brand new, um, you know, feel free to dive in and see how it works for you. So to briefly cover this as well, my goals for this particular application, I want to make sure it's very easy for people to use. I want to make sure it's modular and can provide you a base for your own content management system if it's something you want to extend. And I want to make it very easy to integrate into an existing non-CMS based solution. Um, so say you have a basic HTML and CSS website, 
it only takes a couple lines of code to convert that and allow us to use the CMS system. So to give you a very brief demonstration of that, if I can view the code for this, you'll notice all these content blocks are simply created with this one PHP line. And uh, there really isn't very much required. All you have to do is that and this include line, um, and then two other lines, one within the head and a class on the body. So hopefully it's very in easy to integrate. Um, I'll be covering a wide range of technologies as I go along, including PHP. Um, I'm going to be using the OOP, Object Oriented Programming, and I'll be talking about MVC, the Model View Controller Pattern, a bit. Um, I also use JavaScript and jQuery extensively, especially for the pop-up modal windows, and I talk a little bit about AJAX functionality, as well as obviously the basic HTML and CSS required for all of this. So uh, I hope you'll be interested enough to uh, take a look at this course, and you can obviously feel free to email me or contact me on the Killer Sites forums um, at ben at killersites.com, or my username on the forums is ben as well. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about things I cover, feel free to email me. Thanks.